going to show you today how you can move up the SAMR ladder with Erasma. Remember, SAMR is substitution, augmentation, modification, and redefinition. And we're trying to get above the line, which is up to modification and redefinition. I saw an excellent example from a teacher in my district, Laura Foster, and she was able to pull it together with her sixth grade students studying science. And I just want to show you the possibilities with Erasma. She was able to use Erasma to help students learn. Uh, the students were to record videos that were describing cell functions. And they couldn't mention what the name of the um, cell part was, but that was part of the review process. And then it was going to allow students to watch the videos and then they'd have to name the, the part that was given in the analogy in the video. So basically students were learning at two different points and uh, just a fantastic example. And as I mentioned they were studying um, animal and cell parts in, in um, their science class and the students did the drawings and then they used these as part of their trigger pictures. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit about Erasma Basically, Erasma, you take a device, and if you have a trigger image, like it goes over this, it automatically, once I go over that image, it will trigger like a video or what I've wanted it to do. Um, so the example I'm going to show you is the students had their trigger image was part of their review poster, and then you'll notice when they put their iPads over it, it will trigger the video. And then the students are supposed to listen and then find out what the cell part was. You'll notice right there it triggered it. And then it would go ahead and show the students and then they would have to guess. So as I mentioned, um, I think this is just a great way to move up that SAMR ladder. We're getting into those things that we couldn't have done before um, with the technology. It's allowing our students now to make video analogies of things and then the students can watch each other's and learn from that as well as them having learned when they actually created it. So good job and hopefully this will help a few more of you with some ideas of how to use tools like Erasma in the classroom to help your students achieve more.